<clears throat> Yo, what up, street talk, street calls, street vlogs? All right, some more uh, thoughts. So, this one is uh, some thoughts on fitness. So, <laughs> like, like, why have I never met a CrossFitter? Why have I never met a CrossFitter who actually looks that fit? So. I think the critical problem of any of these sort of group classes or group thingies is essentially it's um <clears throat> I think it tends to be a knowledge gap thing like typically people get into CrossFit or you know workout classes or whatever it's because they're not quite sure what to do slash am I quote quote doing it correctly and the problem about that is people just tend to lack uh, the interest in their they lack the interest or the passion to just do it themselves um, also I think one thing is uh, I don't know like is it a personality thing like I don't know maybe some people just like being told what to do oh I hate it I mean when people tell me what to do or what not to do it's the the thing that unleashes the fires of Hades uh, or uh, Valhalla um, so for me being forced to do CrossFit against my own will is like I would pay like a hundred bucks to not take a CrossFit class. It's uh, it's my my passion. Um, and uh, even yoga is funny. Is that <clears throat> I mean like Core Power these kind of yoga studios? What they really got going for them is it's a separate space where you could just kind of go and buy about and get out your house. And and I actually think that the heat and the steam or humidity is actually really nice. It's like being a sauna. This is also where I really like doing the, just going to my local crunch gym and uh, <clears throat> doing the, the hot sauna. Um, I think it's a good way to just kind of zen out. Um, so I think it is important for there to be social spaces for um, exercise, fitness, etc. Uh, now I think the thing also I, I like aesthetically about CrossFit is um, I think the studio spaces for CrossFit gyms are super cool, like this industrial big place. Even rock climbing gyms, I think the spaces are super cool. So first thought is the big benefit of a lot of these um, uh, fitness places is just the physical space. Um, certainly you could just work out at home, but I think the the thing is, if you're at home all day, you're finna go crazy. I think it's much more better for your self to go to a different space like I would not <clears throat> so like so to me like my personal hell would be living in a sky rise apartment even though it feels floor to ceiling windows but and you know I had the world's best gym whatever but I was never allowed to leave like that would be hell for me I mean even uh, one of the things I learned through uh, COVID-19 thank God I was in Providence Rhode Island Like, I can still, like, leave my apartment building and just go on a walk, right? So being out in the real world is the world's greatest privilege and luxury. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's just kind of an important thing to consider because, you know, being told what to do, what not to do. I think it's a good idea to have the opportunity to just kind of do things on your own to experiment on and just figure it out for yourself.